All right then, gang, so now is the time that we're going to put everything together that we've learned so far in this series, among other things as well that I'm going to teach you over the next few lessons and create some kind of website with those different techniques. And the website we're going to create is this thing right here, Photo Ninja. So if we scroll down, we can see we have all these different sections where we can zoom in on images and these parallaxes right here where the images are moving around in the background. We also have some tabs here, so I'll show you how to do that as well. And another parallax. And then we also have this form right here and it comes with these different inputs, icons and a date picker as well. So I can choose a date and press OK and that's going to populate that field as well as these input fields, which look pretty nice as well. Then we have a footer at the bottom. Now, as well as all that, we'll be using scroll spy, which is this thing right here. So if I click on something like contact, it's going to scroll me all the way to the bottom. So it looks quite nice to do that as well. And then we're going to look at font awesome as well for these icons right here, because Google material icons don't include the social icons by default. So we're going to use font awesome for those. And as I hovered over those, you'll see those little tooltips as well. So we'll take a look at that. Now, this is all fully responsive. So when I zoom down to a smaller screen size, you're going to notice this thing right here. This is the side menu. And then if we scroll down, everything is still responsive. It just stacks on top of each other, but it still all works fine and looks pretty nice as well. OK, so I'm going to show you how to do all of this in the next part of this series. So over the next 15 lessons or something like that, maybe not even that. And what I've done is I prepared you a starter file. So if you go to the GitHub repository for this course, the link is down below and I'll link to this lesson exactly. Then you'll see this index file right here. This is the starter HTML that I prepared for you. So if you just copy all of this right here and then paste it into your text editor, I'll just quickly go through this. So we have our HTML and head tag, couple of meta tags. Then we have this thing right here, which is linking to the font awesome library. And like I said, we need that font awesome library so that we can use those social icons in the nav bar because material icons doesn't contain those by default. We're still importing material icons because we're going to need that for the form down below when we use the mail icon and things like that. But for the social icons, we'll use fonts awesome. So you can either copy and paste it or you can go to the font awesome website. The link is down below and you can download it right there as well. And you can see we have access to all of these extra icons there as well. All right. So we have that. We have the material icons right there. We also have the materialized CSS right here, a title of Photo Ninja. Then we have all these comments right here. These are the different sections that we're going to attack in each of the different lessons going forward. And then at the bottom, we have this script, which is jQuery. And we also have this script, which is the materialized JavaScript file as well. And I've also prepared this for you. So we place all of our code inside this function so that it only fires when the document is ready. So all that is going to be coming up over the next maybe 10 to 15 lessons, something like that. And I'll be leaving images to all the links as well. And by the way, we do have a folder for all of the images right there. So we can see we've got these different images. They're all on the GitHub repository as well. You can find them if you go to materialize playlist. Make sure lesson 16 is selected. That's the current lesson we're on. Go into the images folder and you're going to see all of these images right there as well. So if you click onto one, you can right click and save as if you want to, or you can just clone the repository onto your desktop as well. It's entirely up to you. OK, so there we go, my friends. That's what we're going to be doing over the next 10 or so lessons. So I look forward to creating it and I'm going to see you in the very next one.